the, uh, putting in the fluid. I'll show you how that works and how we jury rigged up a uh, a uh, funnel hose for it. It specifically works just for uh, for putting transmission fluid in the in the dipstick area. But let me just quickly show you the the all trans cooler. We'll go into parts central. Um, I think I may have shown this on other clips. That's the original hood of the Z. You see that shape? That's the shape of the doe's body that hit, that I hit. Um, it, she, her body went in to the metal and smashed it, depressed it. All the forces of the crash were taken out by the metal and her deforming it in the shape of her body. That's her, this is her hip region here. Her head was that way. Um, and so this was smashed down, but it did not touch the brand new $30,000 motor. Um, I was not injured. The Z never stopped running. I ended up driving it home. Uh, so I'll never, I'll never get rid of this hood. <laughs> hood is a reminder that uh, there is a God. If you don't believe, you've never been in that kind of a wreck um, before and survived without a scratch. Yes, the Z was badly damaged, but uh, about $14,000 worth of damage um, and a month in performance auto paint collision, but uh, was fixed in time to go to the first, its first ever appearance at Daryl Starber Rod and Custom Show, the 59th annual in February of this year and one top choice sports custom. So from completely shattered front end, uh, you see the hood, <laughs> you think that wasn't an impact? It was. Um, but let me just show you really quickly. Um, I'll bring this in here and show it to you, lay it down. So this is the aftermarket transmission core that we ended up replacing um, onto the Z after the deer wreck. Do you see these deep gouges from hitting the, so it's really cheaply made. I did not like it when I first got it. I had to jury rig these mounts uh, to, to mount it. I just, I was not happy with it. But that is just pretty, pretty severe. It really hit down and it could have ruptured one of these tubes. So the transmission fluid actually flows through these tubes and the fins remove heat. Um, this is like a radiator for transmission fluid. But I didn't like this and that's why we did what we did and replaced it with the, uh, with the Hayden that was uh, in the deer wreck. And it's just fine. Um, of course I want a new one. I will be getting a new one, but for now, I wasn't gonna leave this on here. Not, not with this kind of damage, okay? All right, so when we uh, finish um, draining, we're gonna let it drain for a little while longer. We're gonna go put probably about seven of these uh, eight quarts. So we got eight. We wanna make sure we had uh, more than enough. I think it's gonna hold about seven quarts, uh, and we'll show you how we're gonna put that fluid back in, all right? So we will see you soon.